My name is Yusuf Adamugadi. I represent Panshinkanke Kanan Federal Constituency. Mr. Speaker, I'm from Plateau State. Mr. Speaker, I come under Order 6, Rule 3 to 7, to explain on a matter that I stormed on during my reading on the pages of newspaper and other print publication, particularly the prime times of Nigeria. I so move, Mr. Speaker. And the thing is simple. I was, I saw it clearly on the print media, prime time, that Nigerian lawmakers threaten to ground plenary if Bajabi Emila and other members prevent debates. It's a fundamental breach on my right as a member sitting to represent the people of Nigeria. Mr. Speaker, what just happened is an insult to the Nigerian people that elected us to be here. And it shows that it is pre-planned if the prime time have published that members of the National Assembly elected by the people of Nigeria who ought to be fighting on the killings in the four angles of Nigeria, who ought to support your leadership in coming up with summit and other programs that is aimed at finding a lasting solution to the killing in the north, in the south, and in the four angles of this country, will come together to say that they will frustrate our effort toward ensuring that Nigeria live well, toward ensuring that we have come up with legal framework that will ensure the safety, the freedom, the peace, the protection of lives and properties of this country, it is very unfortunate. Mr. Speaker, some certain group of parliament cannot suffocate an arm of government and cannot consider parliament of Nigeria as a department of the executive arm of government where they turn the decision of this house the way they want to do. Mr. Speaker, you are speak, speak volume. The matters of urgent public important moved by honorable members, including my brother from Benue, Francis Abo, where he clearly pointed out that an action made by some group of people, Ivo, that killed an individual in Benue State and the consequences was meted on innocent Benue citizen that knows nothing about the killing. Mr. Speaker, it is high time we become disciplinarian. It is high time, Mr. Speaker, this parliament become a parliament of law and order. It is high time, Mr. Speaker, this parliament show good example as a people-oriented parliament and a product of the people of this country. We are seated here, Mr. Speaker, serving governors, calling the parliament they see no need instigating Nigerians that conference should be conducted when under the leadership of the deputy speaker, the deputy senate president, we are mandated to make any adjustment that will better the lot of this country. And we allow ourselves to be torn like a toy. Mr. Speaker, I pray that this privilege that is being broken, this plan by some section of lawmakers that perhaps they don't understand why there are people who put them here, must be investigated. We are not interested, my Mr. Speaker, I myself, I know my constituents, how many of them operate Twitter. I am not appreciating or approving the actions of the government since it is under investigation by your leadership. But again, we must not agree with the conspiracy to come and stop sitting simply because something did not favor you. I am a Nigerian, Mr. Speaker. I pledge to Nigeria, my country, and I don't mean, I don't say it in my mouth, I mean it in my heart. I promise to be loyal and honest to this country. How many of us does our conduct as a parliament to publish some of this thing in the print media and come to display it here, portray to us as parliament that really need the, read the national pledge? Are they loyal to this country? Mr. Speaker, I'm a Nigerian, and I have hope that one day Nigeria will live in peace with one another. I have hope that one day Nigeria will be a peaceful country. I have hope that I have not paid fail as a parliament. I move, Mr. Speaker, 
that this action must be investigated. It must be referred to a committee on, 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 on ethics to investigate why publication come and why action followed after the publication. I saw Mr. Speaker.